tutorial on how to add a lightbox gallery, which is a very simple and easy way of adding a nice looking image gallery to your Moodle shell. So this is very nice for adding visual content to your course and it's very helpful for the student and they appreciate it when there's, there's visual elements as along with articles or documents. So it's very easy to add a lightbox gallery you can choose to add it to whichever topic or week you would like. Uh, I'm going to choose and I'm going to create a lightbox gallery in my topic 4 area. And editing is turned on. And I'm going to click on topic 4. And I'm going to come down to add a resource and I'm going to click on the box. And I'm going to get some many different options here and one of those is add a lightbox gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add a lightbox gallery. And this is going to take me to uh, adding a new Lightbox Gallery page. And of course, like most things, it needs a name. So for the name of my gallery, I'm going to call it uh, University of Montana. And you could, of course, call it anything you'd like. Uh, you could you know, have many different Lightbox Galleries with different names. And the more organized you are, the better. And once I've given my uh, Lightbox Gallery a name, it needs to know where are the images that I'm going to fill the gallery with. So it's very simple. You just go down to Image Directory and make sure that you have watched and understand the file directory movie before this tutorial. And it talks about adding files and working with them and being organized. And I have already uploaded a folder of images to my file directory. And so it's very simple now, when I click the image directory dropdown, I get quite a few options uh, for all of my files in the directory that are already there. So I had made an images folder, and in that folder is another folder called Lightbox1. And of course, when you're adding your files and your structure, you can name them anything you want, and you can have multiple image folders in the main images folder, and then it's very organized and easy to work with. So I'm going to choose this images slash lightbox1 because that's the folder that I want to use for my images. And that's really all you have to do. Uh, you, and then you want to, you can either hit save and return to your course or save and display. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and return to my course which will create the gallery and take me back to the main course page for the CVPA. And as you can see now, in my topic four, uh, I have a University of Montana Lightbox Gallery created. I can tell it's a Lightbox Gallery by the little picture sign next to it. And I'm going to go ahead now and take a look at it. So I'm going to click on it. And I have a list and little icons for all of my images. And then the cool part, the Lightbox part, is when I click on one of my images, as you can see, the browser background becomes dim, so I really look at the picture, and it's in a nice uh, kind of gallery style viewing format, which is a lot slicker than Blackboard was for viewing images. And when I float my mouse over the image, um, I have a little option for the next image, so I can click Next, and it automatically brings up my next image. And as you notice, uh, the images in this folder are different sizes. And that's OK. You don't have to resize your images before. Uh, the Lightbox Gallery automatically resizes itself to fit your images. So this is a very large image, and followed by a fairly small one. And it's very slick and nice looking how it sets up your images. And that at any time, it also gives me tells me how many images are in my gallery, the name of the image, and an option to close out the Lightbox viewer. So I click close and it goes away. And then it allows me to skip through. So if I had lots of images, I don't have to go through one by one. I can look at it, let's say that's great, and then I can click on another one very quickly. So this is a very um, nice tool for adding images to your site um, in your Moodle shell. And I can go ahead and also now and say previous. And I can go either way and look at my images. Also keep in mind, uh, it's very easy to add more images later, so you can just add more images in your file directory, and so you don't have to remake your gallery, it will automatically add more images for you. So a very versatile, nice looking 
element that is very nice to add to your show.